<coughs> Goddamn asthma. Can't breathe when it rains. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lord Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't gone all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. I hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right! Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? I 
Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Are you all right? 
To tell you the truth, <laughs> I remember having felt better. Oh, who was that guy? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent. I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Oh. In any case, he packs a good right hook. <laughs> oh. Mr. Shelby. Yeah. Thanks. Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Related to the investigation. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks.
Harry comment, sample of no interest, comes one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself, thank you. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy, taking his dog for a piss, found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Jaded! Yeah, I'm coming. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's that's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Listen, you look busy. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jade. Come and see me if you find anything, okay? On the same team now. Harry Kent, a sample of no interest. Comes to one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Sun, orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Airy coming. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Airy coming. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line.
good chance that they're the killers. the office. Stay in. Yeah, I'm gonna have another look around if you don't mind. Take all the time you want. Harry, coming. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. I think I've seen all there is to see.
We got our origami killer. I want every available man to finding Ethan Mars. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. 